Hey guys, welcome. So this is the first video in a series of videos where we're going to begin to learn how to modify our Android phones and tablets. First we're going to learn how to install ADB and Fastboot, and then we're going to learn how to unlock our bootloaders and install a custom recovery. From there we can install custom ROMs, custom kernels, and root our devices. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the Android developer website. I'll have a link to the website in the description of the video. And you're going to want to click on SDK platform tools for Mac under the download section. Go ahead and click on that, agree to the terms, and download. It's a real small file, it'll download real quickly. And you can just go ahead and open it up. It's a zip file, it unzips to this folder here. You can go ahead and delete the zip file, you don't need that anymore. And open up platform tools and you'll see you have ADB and Fastboot. So now what I like to do is go into my applications folder here and create an Android folder. So go ahead and do that. And what we're gonna do is just copy ADB. It might ask you to authenticate with a password. Go ahead and do that. And then copy over Fastboot in exactly the same way. And go ahead and uh, go back and delete this folder. You don't need any of those other things in there. And close the downloads folder. You can also go ahead and close your browser window. And then you want to open up terminal. So go ahead and push command space to open up spotlight here and uh, type in terminal. And hit return. Now you're opening terminal. So now what we need to do is change our directory to work in this Android folder here. So go ahead and type in cd space forward slash applications forward slash Android forward slash and you want to make sure you have those uh, capital A's in there and then hit return. So now you see we are working in the Android folder there. Now go ahead and type in dot forward slash ADB and you can see ADB is now running. Do the same thing with fastboot dot forward slash fastboot and hit return and there you go that is fastboot. So if this is the only time you ever plan on running ADB or fastboot you're pretty much done. You can just leave it at that and uh, you don't have to do anything else. Now if you plan on using it more than once, it's going to get annoying to have to go in and do the change directory and use the dot forward slash and all that. So what we're going to do is make it permanently installed on your computer. So there's a command I have pasted into the uh, description of the video. It starts with touch tilde forward slash blah 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 blah. And go ahead and paste that into your terminal window. Just like that and then hit return. It's going to open up this bash profile in your text editor and then I have another line of text underneath that last one you just copied that starts with export path and you're going to want to paste that into this file just like that and then hit return so you have this extra line there and then go ahead and save it. Then you can just go ahead and close that. Now this is a real important step you need to actually quit terminal so go ahead and do that and then you can open it up again just as you did earlier command space and then type in terminal and now you can just go ahead and type in adb boom you don't have to change the directory into that android folder anymore and it works just the same with fastboot and that's it now you have adb and fastboot installed so now that you have adb and fastboot installed you're going to want to go ahead and continue on to the next video where we learn how to unlock your bootloader and install a custom recovery if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and also a thumbs up too.